Thursday, March 22nd, 3.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, I've got some breaking news from Southern California. Flash flood warning has been issued, and it's from these storms. that they've, they've actually fared pretty good. The situation down here in Southern California could have been a whole lot worse. This atmospheric river was absolutely massive. The bulk of the moisture has veered to the north of Southern California, and that uh, burn scar area was the area of the most concern uh, because of what happened back in January, the terrible mudslides in Montecito, California. But nevertheless, they still have some concerns, especially now, due to the fact that they're predicting the imminent failure of the Moccasin Dam on Moccasin Creek. Uh, at 2.51 p.m., radar indicated a line of strong thunderstorms located in the mother load from 10 miles northeast of Cook Station to Arnold to Carson Hill to Tuttletown. Movement was east at 25 miles per hour. Talking uh, 40 mile an hour winds and possible hail, but they're talking about the failure of the dam, and it's in this location right here. Would be directly east, slightly northeast of Modesto, here in the foothills. It acts, actually, it's backed up to uh, the Don Pedro. The Don Pedro is huge. But here's Moccasin Creek, and this is the dam that they're talking about. And they're talking about imminent dam failure here at Moccasin Creek. And there's Moccasin Creek Road. So somewhere in this area here, this is the only dam that I could find. And they said that failure is imminent. And this is in this location near Don Pedro. And we learned last year during the atmospheric rivers when all of these reservoirs were tested, Orville, I remember the Orville spillway that broke um, from all the atmospheric rivers they had last year. It was much needed rain, but they got way too much from those storms. But this one here is interesting. Right here, they're predicting a imminent dam failure. In fact, here's Moccasin Creek. Not seeing anything there. So watch for an incident right here in this area. Southwest of Sonora, due uh, west of uh, Groveland, north of Coulterville, and it's right behind the mighty Don Pedro Reservoir. That reservoir is huge, and it was even tested last year during the, the big storm. So something going on here, Moccasin Creek, imminent dam failure. That story came out about 30 minutes ago. But overall, the storm has drifted mainly to the north, I don't think they're going to see 9, 10 inches of rain in Montecito, which is really good news. This storm was very big. Uh, most of the precipitation did go north, but you can see this thing here has a massive structure. Over here at the ROSE, they're talking about a Cat 5. This is on a different note here in the Southern Hemisphere. We talked about this about four or five days ago, of the possibility of a Cat 5 cyclone forming off the coast of Western Australia. And according to this, it has formed. It's not a threat to land. It's going to drift south near Perth, and it's just going to be a tropical storm. Venture Sky is showing it as a possible Cat 3, maybe Cat 4. Null School showing Cat 3, Cat 4 winds, maybe. So I guess it depends on where you go. Um, determines the, the strength and size of this thing. It's actually pretty good size. I had it on... Google Earth. Let me see if I can retrieve it again. Uh, but again, it's no threat to land. It's not a problem, I don't think. It might create some high waves and a little bit of rain down near Perth later on over the weekend. Here it is here. It's a pretty good sized storm. But typically when these things drift too far south, they become very unorganized. It's going to drift towards Perth in the next two to three days. So Cat 5, depending on where you go, at least a Cat 4, but it's offshore. No threat to land, but big heads up in California as the Moccasin Dam on Moccasin Creek. They're predicting an imminent failure. A uh, story coming out about 30 minutes ago from MyMotherLoad.com. I'll post the link in the description box below. And if you guys haven't checked out the recent up, or actually their upgrades, updates to the site, I've added seismographs over here on the left. 
putting in some new tabs of uh, real-time information your one-stop watchman shop this is a watchman's website we got real-time lightning underneath the seismographs that was by request so we did that we've got the earth uh, in color this is the most recent image of earth from space termination line you can see cloud formations and actual real-time color um, put together a merchandise store and that was by uh, suggestion as well so just for fun I mean it's yeah I mean I think I get a little bit of residual from it but it's not very much guys it's just more for for fun if you guys want to order some gear there it is there's some shirts um, my wife put together some really cool logos I can thank her for that this was her project she did a great job so check out the store if you're interested the link is right here you got two new real-time information maps seismographs real-time lightning and then everything else that you guys are aware of real-time space weather right here there's seven tremendous tabs that can keep you up to speed with the solar wind speed the ionosphere you're one click away from real-time data and something else that we're uh, watching pretty closely are these uh, solar flares these inverted solar flares a very weird phenomenon that I've never noticed before in in all my years I'm not an expert but I've been a watchman for a long time I've never seen anything like that and don't forget to check out the daily report new stories a little bit of something for everybody in there it's updated daily sometimes multiple times a day and then of course the awesome photo gallery that's created by you all of these pictures were sent in by viewers and the library is getting uh, bigger and bigger each day we add new photos each and every day so check out the store if you're interested new tabs uh, new apps updates to the website bookmark it and check it daily for uh, your one-stop space weather shop and some new features that we've just added thanks for watching guys have a super day and be safe out there